All right, everyone, here we are. This is some of the testing that I've kind of been really looking forward to. And part of the reason I made the channel actually was to see if we can do some towing and see what we, we get for our range results. I've got the car here as usual, charged 100%. Got the air con on it, I don't know, 20 and a half degrees or something like that. Just on auto. We've got the new camper trailer from the in-laws. <clears throat> um, pretty good deal on the, on the thing and Normally we use the Amarok for towing it, and I got that all set up with battery and solar and all that, but today for interest's sake, it's a 22 degree day, sunny, um, typical spring weather, beautiful day in the Riverland, and so <clears throat> we'll be towing it. I've made the decision to tow at 100 k's an hour. Normally if we're in the Amarok, we're not wasting any time, we're towing at 110, uh, but I think in the car, uh, I think it's acceptable to, to tow at 100 k's an hour. Faster than a lot of caravans are pulling theirs, but I reckon you really shouldn't tow it less than 100. Um, if that's the speed the trucks are doing with uh, like 80 tons, I think we can do a trailer at 100. Um, and I think that's safe, and I think it's not causing undue disruption and over over uh, enthusiastic passing. And if we can just tuck in tuck in behind a truck or something like that and just do our 100 k's an hour and not cause too many disruptions i think that's probably a safe bet so here we are i think i'm going to be packing the kids into the car this is a nighttime test so we'll hopefully be getting a little nap out of the two younger ones and uh maybe some tablet playing with uh the eldest uh just probably i only got about two hours so we'll see how we go at 100 k's an hour we'll cap it at two hours because that's how long the nap is and we'll see how far we get and then we can generalize that to what that would be for the whole pack um, from 100% to zero. But hey, if it ends up being 100 to 20 or something like that, that's going to be a pretty good representation. We can generalize that to about arriving with 5 or 10%, which is typically what I'd be doing as long as I had a good idea now uh, of what our range is. So we got uh, no wind today, beautiful sunny day, and we will go from there. See ya. So here we got the troops. We got three in the back. Hello. We're going on a little trip with the trailer on the back. You can just see it in the back there. Or there's that one. We got 100%. Oh, there's the wife. And we are heading off. Yeah. All right. So we've done our pre trip inspection, checked the lights, the hitch, and all that. And we've just pulled up um, to make sure everything's going yeah. fine and it's all going well. Yes, mister? Yeah, well, where are we going? We're in Paringa. There's the river down there behind the trees. And so we're going to uh, tell you a little bit about the trailer. So it's. Um, uh, about 500 kilos fully loaded. It's not quite fully loaded at the minute, so about 400 kilos. S standard cam canvas uh, tent trailer and or uh, camper trail, you might say. So anyways, off we go. So we're caught behind this caravan here, uh, doing about 85. Kind of only briefly done 100 there. So what I think we'll do is probably some truck will come up behind us and at the next passing lane we'll sneak behind the truck and let uh, let them take the lead and hopefully they'll be doing 100 instead of 90, uh, 85 to 90. So here we are, uh, just coming up to Victorian border. We've been sitting at 85 here behind this guy for a couple Ks now and you can see projected range on this average range of the last 10 Ks is still 300 kilometers but goodness we're doing 85 Ks an hour. Um, averaging you know 180 watt hours per kilometer which is fantastic but um uh i i you know we've got a line of traffic behind us this is not really tolerable uh speeds or safe speeds because you just get so many angry people passing so i'm glad they pulled over and i'm gonna pull over as well and let all these people pass because it's really not uh not acceptable we're doing 85 k's an hour um I think they all deserve a reason to pass. I think really slow drivers should pull over and let people pass, so we'll do that. And we can do our 100 k's an hour. 40 k's an hour here anyways. All right, so just checking in here. Got a couple people passing us, which is great because on this stretch to Mildura and back, um, there's just heaps of straight stretches, long, uh, long 
long straights, good visibility, easy for passing. So still sitting at 100 here. And just looking at the last uh, 10 Ks there, we got projected range of 177 kilometers at, at this uh, efficiency with uh, 286 watt hours per kilometer. We look a little bit longer. That involves some of the slowing over Yamba and doing 85. So that's uh, not probably represented. That's saying we got another 200 kilometers. But I think just using the last 10 Ks, which is just sitting straight at 100 Ks an hour, um, we got 174 Ks left at 86%. So that's, uh, and, and yeah, 290 watt hours per kilometer. So that's all right. Other than someone tailgating me here. Uh, if you look, if you look back, sadly the um, the the tarp cover for the trailer has gotten pulled up a little bit from the wind. I think it normally doesn't cop this much wind when it's sitting behind the ute and the canopy, so it's just getting pulled up there a little bit. And you can see it kind of winging in the wind. So I might actually pull over and try and tension that a little bit more from the front, and uh, and hopefully get a little less wind resistance because it's kind of the tarp's kind of pushed up a little bit and creating a little bit of a, 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 a sail there so um, I might pull up here soon when there's somewhere safe and, and fix that up see if we can do any better all right here we are 57% down halfway through our trip so 57% good turnaround we've done on trip A down here uh, 88ks 273 one hours per kilometers and that's similar to the last 50 Ks there. Um, that was just pulling into the caravan park and otherwise we're sitting at, yeah, just above 280. Well, I mean, the whole trip is 273 watt hours per kilometer, sorry. So that's not too bad. We've not been traveling for that long. Um, let's just have a look at trips here. And so, yeah, there we are. I mean, that's because I stopped to check the trailer since last charge or trip A is both what we're looking at here and otherwise I've had to uh, sit here for a minute because the kids woke up when we did a toilet break um, for the eldest so they have now had to be entertained with movies there they are because we forgot their shoes and they didn't want to go on the playground without shoes because they're precious and they always wear boots all right we've just past 50 percent there um just a recap here so we've done 104 kilometers at 275 watt hours per kilometer we are yeah just at 49 percent then we got another uh, we'll look here 271 over the last bit there with another projected 100 k's although we've only got about 70 k's till we're back in renmark so um see how we go it's saying projected 22 percent but i have a feeling it should be a little less than that 15 percent we'll see otherwise uh the kids were entertained with uh the, the video until we lost cellular reception so uh but then they're happy eating snacks and having their drinks catch you next time all right i've just done some maths here now uh, we've got so far 274 watt hours per kilometer now if we take the size of the pack which i got 58 kilowatt out of my 100 to zero uh full range test um if we take that 58 uh, or 58,000 watt hours divided by the 274 watt hours per kilometer we come out with about 200 and uh 11 212 kilometers of range so We'll see how we go. I mean, there's a few things we could optimize. Uh, if, if we fill that, uh, the cover, the, the tarp cover full with our usual stuff, we'd have some uh, some chairs in there and the, and the table on top and a few extra things in there. I think if you just bulk that up a little bit, it won't be that little bit of a sale. So that might get you a couple more points, but a couple more Ks. But overall, we're looking at, um, uh, less less than doubling the uh, consumption, so uh, less than having the range. So maybe I'll do some maths on that there. Well, whatever. Uh, we got 274 watt hours per kilometer instead of uh, 155 at 110 k's. So uh, maybe if you did it, uh, if you towed it 110 instead of at 100, we might find that it was about a 50 percent impact. But uh, I'll do some maths for you at the end. 
All right, here we are carrying along now. I was gonna be arriving home with a few too many percent, so I decided to do a detour. Sadly, it means that I, the kids lost mobile reception on their video again, but um, we're sticking around that 270 watt hour per kilometer pretty consistently, so 272. We've been in the 270s pretty much the whole time. Um, we're looking to, we've done 180 Ks and it's another uh, 20 Ks home. So uh, we will try and hit the 200 Ks just to round it out and see what percentage width we're left. And then um, I think that probably wraps it up. It looks like we'll be arriving at about 5%. There it's saying six, but if we have to do an extra couple Ks there to get it to get it to 200 Ks and see how much we're left with, then hopefully we do that comfortably. Here I am sitting on the trailer, just reminding you to please, maybe, someone, one day, could use my Tesla referral code. I've had two friends buy Teslas, and both times um, never mentioned they were buying it or, or beforehand, so I haven't had one, and I'd like one. That'd be sweet. It's in the link below. Don't forget, watch the rest of this video. All right, we're back home. Here we are. We've gone all the way from Renmark to Lake Coleraine, where the children woke up, required to play on the playground, which they didn't enjoy because I didn't bring their shoes along. But we've towed our... Uh, it's its probably about 400 kilos because I haven't loaded up all the water like we'd normally do on a trip. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? Oh, yeah. We found some bugs, and he wants it unclipped so that he can play with the plugs and the chain. So, uh, all the way, Renmark, Colorain and back, um, which is a lovely drive. And let's see how we did with kilometers. So, we arrive back here. We've done 201 kilometers, consumed 53 kilowatt hours, and average, wow, the average came down, actually. Um, on the way in, 264. I, I guess it comes downhill into Renmark. So, we, we lost that going out and then down down Paringa Renmark it, it's downhill so we um, presumably gained some back there so getting 200 km, 201 kilometers with 4% state of charge left so that means we had another 4% which at this consumption would be eight and a half kilometers so uh, looking at 208 to 210 kilometers which is about what I projected um, there halfway through and so yeah now looking at that we We've got probably chargers on the main corridors Hi. every hello every one to two hundred kilometers, uh, Adelaide, Melbourne, Melbourne, Sydney, Sydney up the coast. So two hundred kilometers with a camper trailer uh, is is adequate. But remember, you'd be going from you know hundred percent to five percent, so you, they'd be longer charging sessions because you'd have to fully top charge before you left if you needed that full two hundred k's. If you didn't need that full two hundred k's and you just needed 100 Ks, then, well, you'd only charge to 60% and keep rolling to the next charger because they obviously charge faster at the bottom of the pack. So you always want to arrive with a low state of charge if you can. No, 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 no putting it into drive just yet. Um, so yes, now let's get this disconnected and 4%, so we should probably plug in and give her a little bit of this sunshine while it's left in the day. And next time, are we gonna bring shoes so we can play on the playground? Yeah! Yeah, all right, good. Well. Lesson learned, bring some shoes in case the kids wake up halfway through. All right. Now, uh, after this, what do I plan to do? Well, I plan to, no, to put it in drive, thanks. I plan to uh, do a 100 kilometer an hour range test uh, in, the, in the car. Uh, let's have a look. What did I want to look at? I want to look at consumption drive here. Let me, it, it, in the end, actually, it showed 44% extra no that's 44 percent that we use driving it was an extra 10 percent from expected with towing so presumably that factors into towing it knows that i'm towing and it says i used uh more than 9.9.3 percent more than expected uh and that used 44 percent since i last put the trip in so um that's saying it's only 10 percent more than expected in terms of towing efficiency that doesn't uh, I have to correct myself from late, uh, from previous, where it's not actually um, from uh, from that's not that's not 40% more than expected. It's only 10% more than expected. 
and then everything else was was fine and dandy so there we go that's uh and and see you can see the last bit coming in coming in downhill uh was not too bad in it's consumption oh and he needs to point to yeah good yeah there's there's your finger all righty otherwise hopefully we'll do some range tests with some other trailers and i'd be interested to find out uh kind of what what the various ranges for you know a cage trailer just a normal utility trailer a camper trailer a boat and so some more videos to come and we'll see when i get to them otherwise if you can if you got a long range because this is the standard range or the rear wheel drive if you got a long range then uh just take the difference in consumption uh because normally at 110 i get 155 watt hours per kilometer and so you can translate that and add a 110 watt hours per kilometer for towing a trailer and then translate that to what you'd get in the long range of your performance or whatever uh so yeah that that's one way to do it and uh yeah well, there we got nine kilometers left of the current mileage so yeah and i calculated eight and a half all right well we'll leave it at that and uh stay snazzy bye, -bye. bye, -bye.